Hello my friends, and welcome to my video about making my PC cooler and quieter than ever. What am I rocking here? I'm rocking an X470 crazy RGB Asus motherboard. This is an RX580, no, not an RX580, I don't use garbage. Uh, <laughs> Vega 64 MSI edition, 32 gigs of RAM, and we got these crazy Noctua fans uh, for cooling performance. Apparently, this is the quietest and coolest performing stuff. What's cool about these guys is you could feel quality all around. I just swapped out these old guys in here. Right, but let's get to the main point, main idea of this point. I am trying to make this guy quieter and cooler than ever before. Why am I doing that? Because I can. What am I going to do to do it? I'm going to give you a comparison head to head between the Wraith Prism, which is the stock 2700X cooler, versus this guy, NHU9S guy, cooler. So, right off the bat, you could tell that it has pretty much double the heat sinks, and the angle of the heat sinks is a little bit different. This guy pulls in air from the top, this guy pulls in air from the side. This guy's probably better airflow. But also, one of the things to notice is that we're talking about pretty much twice the amount of metal dissipating the heat. The more heat pipes you have, the more cooling performance you should also have. The benefit of it being cooler is that when your CPU is much quieter, it allows it to be also quiet. So cool and quiet. So that's the point. What I'm going to be replacing the regular thermal paste with, this is a new innovation for me, is the IC Graphite Thermal Pad. What you basically do is you just throw this on top of your processor and make sure it doesn't slip out because this thing is electrically conductive. So it could short circuit things. But you just put this guy on top of your processor. This is the larger sized one. This is the 40 millimeter. Apparently it's supposed to work with the Ryzen. That's what the review said. And I'm going to tell you guys later my verdict between the two. But the reason I also made this video is that I haven't seen anybody put the two coolers side by side. The Wraith Prism and the 2700X. And I hope you guys like this video. Thumb it up. Share it with the world. And I will see you soon. So a quick mention of this IC Graphite stuff. So here's the goal of this guy. This, is this little sheet. You might want to check out the Linus Tech Tips video about this guy. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be touching with my hands. But I am, so. Um, yeah, so this guy's going to go under the cooler. No more thermal paste. Apparently, this is supposed to last forever. You could reuse it. And uh, because I like tinkering with my PC, I might want to reuse it oftentimes. So no more thermal paste for me. No more mess. This is fantastic. Uh, save the environment. Installing this guy, you know, I might have put a picture or two of this guy. So it comes with really easy to use instructions for the AM4 platform. So check this out. Basically, the fan it has this fan clip. Is it recording you? Yeah, okay. It has the, this fan clip that it clips on and clips off very easily. I didn't see that. So it clips on with this clip over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, which is kind of okay. So now what we're going to do, guys, make sure you put thermal paste or a thermal pad. This is my first time ever using this guy. So I'm putting this guy on top, right? And apparently it's very slippery. I've heard one guy use thermal paste with it before. But basically the idea is we want to make sure this guy isn't touching anything else that's like electronic and stuff. And now we put this guy on top of this. Uh -huh. The cooler mounting hardware comes with these long, long screwdriver, and this should be hopefully working now like this. Okay, very good. So what the ideal goal is to thread both sides, so you have more of an even kind of force when you're uh, applying this guy which hopefully is going to be threading right now. I think it's threading. I can feel it threading. So that's what's really cool about these Noctua guys, is that they include all this extra mounting hardware. 
So for example, in the, in the mounting kit, they give you a thermal paste and they also give you this uh, Y splitter, an extra adapter, this little clip. There's a little metal clip to uh, attach an extra fan like this one on the other side. So you could have more cooling performance by having air pushed through here and then coming out this way and giving a much cooler performance. By the way, this is an Octua fan on the back, this gray one. This is an 80 millimeter. So I'm gonna slowly make this guy. You could actually feel it, the torque, when it's finished on this guy. And let's hope that graphite thing didn't move anywhere. It looks like it's fine. Um, so, oh, almost, almost. Is it almost? Okay. So this is spring loaded. That's what I'm liking about these Noctua coolers, is that it feels like the quality, you can feel the quality every step of the way. Am, am I even, okay, now it's done. All right, it doesn't spin anymore. <clears throat> All right, so, so now let's watch these clips. So this is how the clips work. They're clipped on one end over here, and they're getting clipped on this end. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate it in the direction, because I have the fan header for it, is on that side. So we're gonna make it go on the top, I guess. That's probably the best bet. And we're gonna put this guy. All right. Now we we'll just plug this guy into the fan header, which I hope is, which one it is? CPU fan is the top one, okay. And that's the fan installed. It's a little bit taller than the last one, but I think the cooling on it is ridiculous. So uh, let's check out in the next video how it works. So by the way, in my um, BIOS profile, it's set to the lowest speed for these fans anyway. So um, that's what we have here. This is the completed system. This is how the cooler is. We have everything set to minimal. And this should be actually pretty cool. Can you hear anything? Like, even getting in there, you could barely hear it. Maybe on the loader would be a different story. So this is a spare PC, guys. And the reason, also one of the reasons that it is also ultra quiet like this is because I put this guy, Easy Tuning Wizard guy. No, not this guy. What we want is Q fan control guy, right? And what I did was I clicked on each one and I pressed WPM. And until 75 degrees, uh, it's not going to ramp up the fans to 100%. And see, like, chassis one, chassis, everything. The two Noctua fans, they're connected to, the, to the, this one. It can't go below this, this speed. This is, like, the slowest kind of thing. So that's how you make your system quiet is by uh, getting PWM fans. And the CPU fan is also set like this. So this should be the craziest, slowest thing. And now I could also do AI tweaker. I could technically overclock the head. So last thoughts. The cooler is perfect for the CR1080 case. The case badge is fantastic. Right now the PC is at idle. I would need to stress test it to really put it to the test. But I do feel an improvement, a market improvement, by replacing originally f having four fans in here to two uh, Noctua NAF whatever fans and this cooler. So this is ideal. Why I like this case actually is that it is compact and it takes standard ATX sized parts, which is awesome. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, you know, I love computers. I love I love tech. I watch a lot of YouTube videos, I play around with them, and I uh, hope you give it a nice big thumbs up. Let's have a little discussion below in the field uh, about, you know, PC stuff, and I'll be happy to talk to you. And yeah, so see you in the next video. Bye.